You cannot do what they did. You can challenge a person on ideas. Of course. And that's what we did here tonight. Yeah. Oh, you see, you, I, Avi, thank you for hitting the nail on the head. Rather than current affair, like you guys have done, challenging me on some of the things that you know I speak out about and report on and, you know, uh, propaganda, you could call it, you know. Uh, you can uh, drop that. Uh, allegedly, right? Rather than challenging on that, like you guys have, and I'm happy to talk about it. We, have, we, we can, always talk we about it. We can have a nice chat, but they, they take the personal dirty attacks That's what and they crowd That's victims what they out of nothing. So anyway, so Rukshan says current affair lost. What do you think? I, 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 I don't, I, I think current affair loses every time they air. I think that's actually, that's actually <laughs> true. I think, Simia, that... I think you won out of this. I'm actually, I'm going to, are you telling her in Russian? She's no, like, I'm saying you can stay. Can stay. <laughs> did you say, no. did he say you can stay or you better stay? I want to know because that might be in breach of the AVO. <laughs> <laughs>
Because I think we need to remember that moment. Yeah. Yeah. Grandmother's not happy either because we watched this before he arrived. He yeah. just flew in. And it's an interesting because I didn't pick up on that when we first watched it. Grandma's not happy either. With who? With who? Yeah. With current affair. Yeah. Well, well uh, it seems like she made a complaint against you. Uh, Boy, problem. Tens of thousands of eyeballs have already viewed our fiery clash with the self-proclaimed Aussie Cossack after he posted his version online. I'm going to put this video up right now on YouTube. Speaking of fake news. Let the whole world see. Your version. Did you edit it? Well, you're, you're under two cameras going. I was filming and there was the, uh, the phone my wife was using. So I mixed them together, obviously. So does your version cut out anything that didn't happen? Well, everything's there. It's, it's an uninterrupted stream. They more or less collaborate, They're both the versions. Yeah. Except, uh, obviously, my version goes for longer. They just cut out little... little oh, so seconds. you're saying they edited it? Of course they edited it. But your one that you put up online wasn't edited. It was between two cameras. You switched yeah, switch between two but cameras. But it was, it, it was yeah, the whole un thing. Uninterrupted. That's it. That's yeah. it. Okay. I, mean, I like my version and people liked it too. The current affair got smacked on their comments. If you look at the, the, their trailer they put out. Oh, this, this is not, well, this is not, we're not giving you a platform mm. here to spew your hate. Let yeah, the whole mentioned. world see Speaking what of kind of grubs you are, mate. Simeon Boykov was yeah, born in right. Sydney. Great, great. Um, none of my uh, relatives were born in Russia or the Soviet Union. Yet, he promotes himself as a Russian yeah, patriot with a massive Z plastered on his car like those on Russian tanks. Boykov's a prolific peddler of Putin's propaganda behind invading Ukraine. Prolific peddler of Putin's propaganda. That's what it's a tongue twister. But the truth is, that's probably the only point in this thing, besides the first, he's a public menace, I agree with. This, you can't really argue with. Are you, are you denying that? That I'm a prolific peddler of Putin's propaganda? Well, Putin would deny that. Because the embassy and the consulate, they're actually scared of me. Because I'm so pro-Russian. Uh, Have you noticed the ambassador and the consulate? They're quiet. They're quiet as mice. But in, in general terms, yeah, what they're saying what, yeah. is that you put out messages you put a Z in, on in, your support, in, in support of Russia. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, they can't deny that there's, there's a well, bit of truth That's to fine. That. Look, Whether it's propaganda or not, that, that's their claim. It is a, no, a lot of things in this program I would actually run myself. In fact, my brother called me and goes, All right, Simeon, how much did you pay current affair to run this? Because <laughs> it's just, it's like the Boykov show, you know? So it's not like... I, I can see like where the, you're happy with the final... Thing and oh, be, yeah. in the next couple of hours, it'll be interesting to see what online reactions. I probably, I probably think you are going to get a lot of support for it because nobody likes the mainstream media, and it really felt like they're trying to pull a story out of nothing, especially when we get to the end. But it is important to note. I do think that there's no problem with the way they frame that, um, because I would agree with that. Yeah. yeah. I, I, you and I were friends. I don't agree with a bunch of your Russian stuff. But I also don't agree with the other side. I think you're both as full of shit propaganda as each other. That's what we wanted you to think. Now, I'm pretty neutral uh, uh, in all of this. Uh, uh, uh. And just from following, just, you know, like everyone else is following your content, I would say it's, you know, it is accurate to say that. Thank you, Switzerland. As a propaganda. You're a propagandist. Propaganda. Pee, 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 pee. If there are Nazis who are killing civilians, they should be liquidated and they should, all force should be used, necessary. False. Ukraine is not a country that requires denazification. Ukraine is a country that has a Jewish president. Robert Horvath is a Russian politics expert at La Trobe University. Listen, this is where a moment ago I said you're full of shit. Yeah, I think it is full of shit to say that Putin went in there to denazify it. Um, that's a claim I've heard you make. The reason being, where did where has Putin gone in so far? Where's he, where's he not going? They're not going into the West. Okay, and what's in the West? Well, the West is where, traditionally, historically, that's where when the Germans invaded the Soviet Union in 1941, that's where the locals, not only did they greet the Germans and welcome them, they actually actively... So, 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 I just don't want this to go on forever. That's where the Nazis are. So if Putin's uh, propaganda it was true that he was going into denazify, why would he not enter the one place where all the Nazis are at? Very good question, and the answer is equally as good. The answer is that he doesn't want to liberate the West. We're happy to let so, them... But, but that's, okay. that's okay. I get that. And that's why the, most of the world, including myself, think that that's just an excuse. I, also, I can also see the other side of it. When the rest of the world is outraged that he's using an excuse that Antifa uses to punch people on the street, it's not really that. He's really gone in because he doesn't want NATO on his doorstep. That's the truth. Now, whether you believe that that's a legitimate excuse to invade 
what would be a sovereign country or not is where the, I, I think the true argument can be had. You've got to understand, since 2014, the Kiev regime has become a regime that promotes Nazi ideology. I'm, 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 I'd say what he's about to say, which we can watch, let's watch it, I guess, because that's what, that's what you're taught, speaking to, and that's where the argument, it's, I think, continue let's, watching. And then, yeah, let's watch it. Go. It's not a country that requires denazification. Ukraine is a country that has a Jewish president. Robert Horvath is a Russian politics expert at La Trobe University. Boykov boasted that within Australia, he is able to... It was right. So this guy is doing what I see. Everybody doing, going, oh, there's a Jewish president who he can't... There can't be any Nazi thing, which, which is so false. I agree with you. That makes no sense. On one hand, you've got one side claiming everyone's Nazis. On the other side, you've got one um, claiming that there are no Nazis or essentially no Nazis, and it's just a fringe, tiny group. Mm. The point is... The truth is somewhere in the middle. So is it a problem created by the media by denying any links? That's the thing. It's like black and white. Suddenly the same people like the ADL who call everybody Nazis if you're slightly conservative are suddenly denying there are Nazis in Ukraine when there are not only Nazis in Ukraine. You know, that's the argument. You they go, oh, there's Nazis in Australia. What's the mm. difference? Show me a battalion of the National Guard in Australia mm. that are proudly Nazis. You don't have it. But the regime itself, you can't say that yeah, Zelensky, yeah. you can't say he's a Nazi, he's a Jew. He's, a, he's yeah. not really a proud Jew. He's always, I think he's voted against Israel on everything. He's not the biggest, he's not, he's not a proud Jew. I think he may have even been baptized. I don't even think he, I don't know if that's true. But w the point is, he's not a Nazi. Are there Nazis? Yes. Are they a big problem? Yes. In fact, look at the mainstream media. Four years ago, they'll tell you that. Suddenly, they're not talking about it. it doesn't suit the narrative. That's my problem with what he's saying. But just like that, I have a problem with mm. the, what was it? The Putin propaganda peddler pest. We'll just go with that. <laughs> Started with P. Look, it doesn't matter. There are some parts of the world that what I do is very actually revered. And there are some parts of Australia, especially in Western Sydney. Uh, the work that I do is actually respected. So I don't really mind what Tracy Grimshaw or Steve Marshall have to say. And th they've got a job to do. They're, they get paid to discredit anyone who challenges the mainstream media narrative. And that's the only reason why they've targeted me and the reason we're making personal attacks. Rather than challenge me and attack me for the things I say and the things I promote uh, uh -huh. and the news that I say, they go for my wife. They go for my beautiful we're get, wife. We're not even there yet. Mm. We're yeah. not even there. But that's why we can stand here. Yeah, right? We can stand right? here and interrogate you. Yeah, please. We don't agree on those... On, 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 when it comes to yeah, some of the yeah, politics yeah, that in Russia, and I totally get where you can make sure he has that on. He's his, trying to take it off. He's trying to go oh, you, you, you know, Avi, what the thing is? <laughs> Australia was such, such a country of you know, so many different people from all around the world, right? And all around the world, there's so many different conflicts, ethnic violence, and so much history that we don't understand in other parts of the world. So as a neutral observer, when I hear yourself, for instance, speak up for Russia, or when I hear people from Ukraine speak up for Ukraine, I look at it and I listen to both sides of the story. That, that's kind of why we're doing this, is that yeah. I, th I believe in free speech. Yes, that's right. And I think that I actually, like I like Simeon. <laughs> Public menace, they've sold him to me. I'm happy with, I like him. I disagree with him on some mm. parts of his arguments, which I do believe are Russian propaganda. Mm. And I wouldn't want to align myself with that, you know, that alliance of Russia, China, Iran. I'm not into that. No. But does that mean that, one, everything he's saying is not true? No. no. It's just like this guy. This guy that they're using, he's, a, he's talking rubbish he's, as he's well. A, he's a government propaganda. He's, he's, doing a, he's doing the same. He is semi on the other way, just not as popular or good looking. <laughs> <laughs> like, again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I don't actually agree with Simeon on everything in this. I certainly don't. Mm. And I don't think like, you know, putting a big Z on my car, but I get, I get his pride. Yeah. And that's his thing. The problem is now we have a point where you can't even have that conversation in the public thing without yeah. getting crucified by the media yeah. as if, as if he's gone there to fight yeah. against Australia. Yeah. That's what they've made it out to look like. But I think with this guy, the, the, you had the classic media shot of him walking up and 
flicking through his Russian book just to kind of give him some authority. And then the Putin book. The Pu- called Russian expert. Did you see the Putin book? <laughs> he had, book? He had the Putin book. He had sell him? Probably uh, <laughs> recipes for borscht. <laughs> <laughs> but he flicked through it and, he just, and then he just came out there and said something that's obviously not accurate in the reality of what we're seeing around the world. And like you said, the mainstream media years ago have actually talked about these things. And he's here saying, you know, it's like, it doesn't exist. It's like yeah. a fantasy. So yeah. we'll keep going. He is able to do more damage to an enemy state than Russian special forces can do. He's clearly someone who, whose activities should be watched carefully. <laughs> oh my God. Like they are giving you way too much credit. You are more powerful than a special forces enemy within enemy st- whatever. Like a specially trained special forces unit in Russia. Simeon. Yeah. Well, let's talk about this. I've got an opinion here. What this Russia expert from La Trobe University is is not actually that far from the mark. You see, <laughs> Russian. He played to Simeon's ego. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me, let me explain. Let's say he, Russian special forces, Russian military, they're over there. You know, they can take down a, you know, a, a fortified a, a pillbox or take out a command center. But can anyone in the Russian military in Australia actually challenge the mainstream media fake news about Russia? Okay. And that's what's, that's what's very hard for Russia to do. It's very hard for Russia to defend its credibility, defend its reputation uh, overseas. Now, obviously, independent journalists uh, overseas who have a pro-Russian position, there is rare, rare as hen's teeth. And there was one that was arrested a few days ago in Latvia. Uh, he, he runs a YouTube channel called The History of Weapons. And they actually arrested him because he was promoting uh, a pro-Russian position on the mm. war. Now, obviously, you know, I do that. I do that openly. I did this before the freedom movement. I've been doing, uh, you know, ran a newspaper for six years in Australia, Russian Frontier, in Russian, uh, printing in, uh, in Sydney and all over the, in Australia. So look, I, I don't hide that. It's no secret. What you know, when people saying. expose, they say, oh, Simeon Boykov, do you agree, do you agree? I'm masked. Do you, no, no, that's, that How am I masked? I was born in Australia, <laughs> but I always, was, since I was a little kid, I used to go to church, Russian school. Do you recognize some of this propaganda? What I do? Huh? Well, you put, well, put it this the way. The Russia stuff. Put it this way. Putin propaganda. You're happy to push Putin mm. propaganda. Well, I, if, let me just clarify this. If my views and Putin's views happen to align, and his views are considered to be Putin propaganda. In that context, I could see how somebody like this ex- expert from La Trobe University may think that I'm pushing Putin propaganda. It's a yes or no. Quote, unquote. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there are, Putin's a legend for goodness sake. I'm not even going to hide it. He's a boss and he's so popular. They, the rest of the Western leaders are jealous of him. Skymo's jealous of Putin. If he was so popular, why doesn't he let open protest in, in Russia? Why can't people protest on the street in Russia? Let me tell you the answer to that question. So uh, in the 19... Uh, but before, before you get there, I just want to say, because these are the kind of things that in Australia, last couple of months, last two years, we've been complaining about, that the governments here are stopping us from protesting. Exactly. Having free expression and things you've like this. You've been in the front, right? the forefront yeah, and of that you, You've been speaking about these issues as well, Simeon. So now that we see the roles reversed, regardless of what Putin is doing right or wrong, should people in Russia have the right and the ability to voice well, look, their concerns about what's happening let's, freely? In cities where the Russian army has brought in their cleaned out Ukrainian forces, there are actual protests where locals, Ukrainian locals, are coming out protesting against Russian and Chechen troops holding machine guns, and they're just standing there copying it. Like, I've seen this uh, happening uh, everywhere. Okay, but what about in Russia? In Russian borders? In Ukraine, it's different. In, in Russian borders, you're seeing, as soon as there's a protest, the police are coming in and arresting it. Well, you know, there's a, there's a certain... Um, that old lady, well, she's a famous anti-Putin... She was in some, yeah, I know She's what I'm talking about. I'll there's put a, it up. There's a, there's a bunch of them. Are you, are you going to deny that that's happening? No, let, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Are you going to deny? Most Russians actually agree. I don't care. No, I, I've, been, I've been to Hong Kong. The, I'm not going to answer the question. Oh, yeah. All right. Most Russians okay. actually Putin agree propaganda. agree with the policy that um, these opposition uh, protesters, who are protesting, protesting when the country is in conflict, yeah. Yeah, that's that's like almost up there with being a traitor. But that's the thing, man. Let, 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 you could say the same thing about Victoria and Dan Andrews. That's what they were saying during COVID, man. They were saying that most, lot, people, lot of, lot, most people agree with what the government's doing and these people are causing uh, yeah. causing trouble. All right. This is the thing, now, man. It's hard. It's mental gymnastics no, no, because no, no. I understand you a, want to stand for Russia. Let me let me explain in the, in the words of old Soviet black humor. So in the Soviet Union, the, the American premier, uh, the American president, on a big meeting with the Soviet pr- uh, premier, they said, uh, we have so much American democracy 
that somebody can walk out towards the White House and stand there and point their finger and, and say, F you to the American president. And the Soviet premier answers, we also have democracy. In Russia, somebody can walk out in front of Kremlin, point finger, and also say, F you to American president. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's funny and it's true, yes. but that goes to the point of you being... That's, so underneath this story, which is... Obviously, a character assassination, and in fact, it's a, it's gonna that's go, that's the part of this that's gonna backfire because I predict by tomorrow, most of the internet's gonna be on your side in their own comments because you own them, you own the reporter, you 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 beat him in that com, in that conversation that they're putting in there where you 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 put him in his place and people will love that. I love it. I think it's great. But in the last two years, you have been the king of freedom fighting in Australia and you're defending one position of Russia and I understand all about, like I, I, I understand and I, and I think why can't you be pro-Russian but call out issues that you disagree with so you don't have to agree with everything. Well, I support uh, the opposition to Putin in Russia. I support the LDPR party, Vladimir Zhirinovsky. Excellent. Do you politician. think everyone in uh, Russia should have the right to protest in Russia as against as, the war? Uh, look, absolutely. And uh, the, I support the normal, real Russian opposition parties, like the KPRF, the Russian well, Communist Party. about the people protesting on the street, just like freedom protesters here. I'll tell you something. Some of these protesters on the street that you see in Russia are directly funded by NATO, are directly funded by CIA. They're literally That's what they said about freedom protesters here. No, they didn't. When did they say we're funded by CIA? Not no, CIA, CIA, never, but they, they say said, the They said that it was things. international. Yeah, it's exactly the same. I'm saying walk away from here, have a think about that. I'll tell you one thing that this last two years did for me is I realised I don't always have to support every move Israel makes. In the last two years, I condemned Israel's behaviour in the way that they, they treated COVID and they treated their citizens and civilians during COVID. Now, you can support Russia, you can suffer, but you should also be able to sit there and criticise things that you truly in your heart would not agree with as a freedom fighter. You, you just can't have both. You, you can't have both. You've got to understand as well one thing. There's different styles of democracy. You know, Putin family still once said, because we don't want American style of democracy like you have in Iraq and other places. What democracy were you fighting for in Australia? Mate, let's put it this way. We're, Australia's the lucky country. It's the best country in the world and we've got to preserve the freedoms here. There aren't that levels of freedoms in other places. You know, Australia's lucky it's free because we're an island. We're away from all the war. There's only 26 million of us. We haven't got the neighbours on our borders with military bases everywhere. And we haven't been at war for the last 1,000 years. I mean, the closest we got to war was the bombing of Darwin. Now, Russia is in a different situation. Israel, for example, they're surrounded by enemies everywhere. So they, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. You can't really compare. But in saying that... Democracy is an idea. In saying that, at least Putin, freedom is an idea. Look at that. In, in Either you that, believe people are free or not, and I'm happy. I, like I, I get where you come, and I get it. But I think it's one of those things. We just, for, as mates, I think we're never going to see eye to eye on that, and that's fine. Now, can you agree with me on this? P Putin doesn't pretend to be, you know. Uh, fully for democracy and pretend to be agree. like Dan Andrews. Yeah. He pretends uh, to be for uh, democracy we, we, and he backstabs can, the people. I, I can agree with you on that. At least he's honest. It's more uh, at least he's a gangster. He's a boss. He says, you know, we're moving in. We're taking, <laughs> the troops are coming in. Dan Andrews, he'll shoot you in the back with a rubber bullet. He'll, he'll make you lose your job. He'll stop you from going to work. He'll take away your mortgage. I he'll agree. shut down your business. I agree with that. So uh, who's more honest, Dan I Andrews agree. or Putin? And if you saw what happened in the last week in the European Parliament where Trudeau got hammered mm. by I think 12 different members over that exact fact that he was standing there in the parliament you know preaching freedom and democracy and condemning Putin whilst bashing his own citizens just like Dan Andrews did I understand that I agree with that a hundred percent but you as a freedom fighter here in Australia the one fair criticism that I think that they have in there that they've conflated with everything else is that you're not consistent on that because you obviously got this conflict in yourself about standing for Russia and, Ru and what Russian patriotism has to look like where I think in my opinion you can be a Russian patriot but also condemn the wrong of, of, of the Russian government just like you could be an Australian patriot and condemn the Australian government when they got it wrong and they got so much wrong in the last couple of years. Well, let's, 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 let's rewind a second. Let's not get caught up in the mainstream narrative. 
let's just have a, let's, let's have a look at what actually is happening in Donbass, in Donetsk. People have been protesting since 2014 to join Russia. And look that's at, again, you're going back to the, the legitimate conversation. Yeah. I think that the, the mainstream lies about that. They pretend like Ukraine is one united front when obviously there is, you know, a good a quarter or a third of the country that actually identify as Russian. So the, it isn't as black and white as, as the mainstream media. You're not getting that argument here from me. What you're, the only argument I'm, I'm challenging you as a mate is how can you look at inside Russian territory and say, I agree with Putin's position of shutting down any dissent within Russia's border to the actions that he's doing right or wrong. Like, we can sit here and joke and laugh and criticise Putin, but what's the Australian government doing? You know, they're blocking social media, they're shutting people's YouTube accounts down, shutting people down on Facebook, keywords, you speak out, you're blocked. You're, you're not going to get that. Yeah. But we're, yeah. Again, we're going back to things that you're not going to get the argument yeah. from. I think the core, the, the core question here from within this group is not about the actual war. It's not about uh, the, 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 the so-called, uh, you know, denazification, which also... There's, you know, that's a different conversation which we start to have in the beginning. But it's about whether you believe in freedom for everyone or not. Let's 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 uh, take a moment to say I believe in the freedom of uh, everybody, of course, and I respect people even on the Ukrainian side who are fighting for freedom. But let's just focus back to what current affair has done here. Yep. And why they targeting me and calling me a Putin propagandist? If I was so. Um, if I was so marginal out there with my views, obviously people wouldn't listen to them. Obviously it wouldn't be a threat. Obviously there wouldn't be people, you know, hundreds of thousands they're of saying, people. They're not saying you're not a... They're, they're actually saying you are a threat. They are. They're worried. They're, this current affair is actually... I don't know. I think that they're just hyping up a story. But no, oh, I, no, I put it to you. The current affair and the mainstream, because obviously current affair have been ordered to do this. This is a hit piece. This is a character assassination with personal attacks designed to discredit me. I think they've realised that uh, there's a market out there in Australia, that people, are, Aussies are thirsty for the truth. There are truth seekers. People will actively go out and source information that differs to Channel 9, to Channel 10, to the ABC because yeah. they know that Channel 10, Channel 9, Channel 7, ABC, 2GB, Sunrise, it's all the same. Yeah. It's the same narrative. People are after the truth. And that's during the last two years with the lockdowns and everything, we've seen an explosion yeah. Yeah. of you know thirst for truth in this country. Yeah, and it's one of those things that I don't think you're going to get an argument from me or, or, no. or yeah. Rukshan that, that people are hungry for the truth. That's... <laughs> Rukshan lives on that. That's literally what his bread and butter was in the protest. It was just giving natural, straight footage with that, which is people looking for the truth. Um, there's no denying that. Uh, and it, again, there's no. I, I, I've got no problem with saying that everything the mainstream media has been given in, 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 within this battle and everything else is pure. Has been pure propaganda for one side. Yeah, I'm, the I'm, only place I differ here is I think you've been. On this one specific mm. issue, you're the other side of it. And I don't think they should silence you. I don't, I don't think they should ban uh, uh, RT news. I don't think yeah. they should ban any news. I think all the information would be, should be put out there and um, let people decide for themselves. This is the thing, because like we live in Australia. It's a democracy. You have all this freedom. And we still think... Supposed to be. Supposed yeah. to be, right? But we still know that our media is manipulating us. And we have a country like Russia where it's a bit more authoritarian. Um, and, you know, you can see that possibly the media there and the way that uh, news stories are coming out can have control of the state. So for us... Who it are does. In, it in does. Ru in Russia, it most certainly does, even yeah, so more so than So if here. it's happening here, yeah. of course it's happening yeah. there. And as a neutral observer, I'm looking at all these stories and thinking, actually, I can't trust any of these. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. Cut so, one <laughs> okay. He's sweating. He's, Very hot. He's lying. He's lying. I like, I like the... As soon as I said aesthetics. RT News, RT News. <laughs> you hit a nerve back. RT News. <laughs> but no, like... I, think okay, I reckon we keep watching. I think we've had a good, uh, serious part of this. Bits and pieces, now we yeah. can have laughs. Yeah. Yeah. Conducting a search. Sorry. Particularly Actually, after the... Look what they're doing here. Before we go on to this oh. guy. Before we go to this guy. Yeah. That footage we just saw. That's me running around in a, um, Sydney fighting for the rights of Australians and freedom from Australians. But they didn't mention Man, that, did they? They, they said... They basically showed all this footage of me driving around saying that I was promoting Russia. That's not true. I haven't been promoting Russia at all in the last two years. Uh, in the last 29 days, naturally, of course, I've jumped yeah, yeah. in the ring. But what have I been doing for the last two years? I've been standing up for mums and dads. I've been standing up for the you know, Aussie butlers. I've been out to Ballarat, up to Newcastle, down to Melbourne, Canberra, everywhere. I mean, uh, why has the media conveniently left that out?
you know. So they framed it, what are you saying is they framed it like that, that was you driving around promoting Russia when really you were freedom fighting and I agree with that. Mm. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Yeah, bit of a rip-off, isn't it? So let's hear about this bloke. One of the Russians charged with shooting down passenger jet MH17, killing 290... I think this is probably... Looking at this as an Aussie, I would go this is the worst part of, part of it. I think, that, I, I think they're actually cutting that into... Was it, did they even mention him at that point? I don't know. Nah, you see how they cut and paste that? They, put that, they put that in there and then they, they made it look like you were answering that. Yeah. Unlike them, we give you the chance to answer that. Well, yeah. my, question, my question is, how, how do you like know these people? Why are they photographs of you? Yeah, these sure. people in, in military uniforms and all sorts of things. Like Someone that doesn't really know too much about that. Well, look, let's start with the fact that since uh, I finished high school in Australia, I moved to Russia and uh, I you know, studied in Moscow for a few years. So I was very active in Russia and I was traveling around the place and studying and so forth. Now, um, in regards to this gentleman, this, his name is Igor Strelkov, also known as Igor Gukin. Uh, you know, the, the current affair have brought him up to bring in the MH17 disaster. Let me just say to start with, that is an absolute tragedy. And it's very tragic that that happened. And whatever the truth is, whichever side is responsible for bringing that plane down, you know, it's an atrocity and it's terrible. And it's very sad that 38 Australians died. It's is it possibly sad. that it was Russian? Look, let's just be honest. My personal opinion is that uh, Russia uh, didn't shoot the plane down because it doesn't make any strategic sense and it would be absolutely, absolutely foolish. There's could the, it have been an accident? Could have been an accident. So you know? why are they blaming the guy that's in your photo? Well, that guy, um, Igor Girkin, Igor, Igor Strelkov, he was actually the Minister of Defense of the Donetsk People's Republics. So he wasn't even serving in the Russian military. He was one of these volunteer republics. So, you know, Ukraine, a lot of these regions are breaking away. You've got the Lugansk People's Republics, the Donetsk People's Republics. They're breaking away from Ukraine. He was active there as the Minister of Defense. And obviously, being the Minister of Defense, there's no allegation that he literally pressed the button. But, you know, supposedly he was in charge at the time when that happened. And look... Did you, you know, ask him about it? Of course he's going to deny it. Well, everyone's going to deny it. There's no... Uh, there's no, uh, there's so no. So why would you do a photo with somebody that they're claiming did that? We, are de we didn't mean to talk about that. I actually met with him to talk about passing on humanitarian aid for Australia. We had a bunch of humanitarian aid, and when I met with him, he was already no longer the Minister of Defence. He was uh, in charge of a, a charity called uh, Nova Russia, Nova Russia, and I met with him in Moscow uh, to organise a shipment of humanitarian aid to help Ukrainians. So that was the meeting. That was that's what the meeting was about. Uh, nevertheless, you know, I, I is, it, is it buzzing? No, no, you can, you can Google this, you can oh, cross-check. No. The lie detector. You can cross-check. I think it's malfunctioning at the moment. <laughs> it's, it's, he's saying so many lies. It's Radiation bad. levels are high. <laughs> oh, no, we this is like Chernobyl now. <laughs> no, we met you're not meant to laugh when I say Chernobyl. <laughs> there you go. Gotcha. Um, the, okay, so I guess it's clear that they've stuck this photo in here. Again, for the character assassination. They've tied it to a question about a different question that he was answering. Again, character assassination. That's what Jim Jeffries did to me. Um, now, the reason for the photo and the, whether the guy's a good guy, do you think the guy's a good guy? Actually, uh, he criticises Putin a lot. And uh, right now, he's... Uh, but, but he criticises Putin a lot, saying Putin doesn't do enough. No, well, he criticises... He wanted Putin to invade earlier. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe, but there, he's actually uh, not, you know, you could say in favour with the party at the moment. Uh, he's a bit of a wild card himself. So uh, it's, it's, it's not like he's Putin's man or something. Don't forget this guy, just as many other people in that area, they were volunteers. Most of the people in Donetsk and Lugansk are actually Ukrainian citizens mm -hmm. who volunteered uh, and said that they not, they're, not, uh, they're not happy and they're going against Kiev and they want mm -hmm. to become closer to Russia. But the main thing is the MH17 disaster is a tragedy. It's a tragedy, and I, I strongly condemn or oppose any allegation or any uh, suggestion that I somehow condone the shooting down of planes. And th what they're trying to do is, you know, outrage Aussies because, what was it, how many Aussies 30, died? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 38. 38 Aussies died, and they, want, and they want to go, well, look, Simeon's mates with the guy that it is um, thought was part or responsible for the shooting down of this plane, which is uh, guilty by association. And uh, I guess, is it fair? Yeah. Are you a Russian spy? <laughs> Let's keep going. I didn't answer the question. What, what was it? I didn't, I didn't answer the question. Are you what a Russian spy? Okay, if I, if I was a Russian spy, I wouldn't be a very good one, would I? 
Well, I mean, if we watch the rest of this video, it, yeah, it doesn't so make that's sense. That's what a Russian spy would say. Yeah. yeah. A typical classic. Your, your textbook answer. Your cover. Okay, let's just watch it. Let's, 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 let's watch it. Including 38 Australians. Hey, hey, this, is, this, is you, this is you. This is you. Trying to, to make a personal attack. Look at him. Trying to make an attack. Look at him. It's good. They didn't, they didn't make your argument, you. This is you trying to make an personal attack, even though you weren't answering it. Shame on the mainstream media for attacking hardworking Australians like this. Boykov's trip to Russia resembles a scene from a Borat movie. When he returned to Australia. <laughs> you are, you're pretty funny. That's hilarious. HQ, HQ. I got it. I got it. I do love how you're dressed up like a Cossack. Slapping a prohibited firearms order on him. They've got the Cossack swords. Nah. Is it antique? This is a great video. I thought that was one of the best hilarious. Very dark. We did the same and discovered a few home truths behind Simeon Boykov's Iron Curtain. Are you proud to have residency? Simeon Boykov's Iron Curtain. Oh, is it, uh, they, they love the play with the words with, and the puns and the. With the scary language. music in the back. Yeah, and, yeah. and he goes, when the cops said, oh, we're going to investigate, he goes, and I remember watching that video, they investigated and they gave it to him back. There was yeah. nothing wrong with it. So you got that but he goes, Oh, that sword is from 1911. It's, yeah. it's, it's, so a, they, it's like a family heirloom. Yeah, so I'll keep it in my bedroom, you know? It's there and it's a. Uh, but, nice but, but, so he shows that and then he goes, and then we did our own. Yeah. We did an investigation. Dun, yeah. dun, dun. And the Iron Curtain. Yeah. <laughs> Simeon's wife is part of the Iron Curtain. <laughs> well done, baby. An apprehended violence order. New South Wales police took out against Boykov on behalf of his wife, the second in four years. He must not assault, threaten, stalk, Harass or intimidate her. Did you do any of that before? Oh, yeah, no, so this is the every time that there's an AVO, police take AVOs, and they do it all the time. Even though nobody wants the AVO, the police put one anyway. It's all about everyone's trying to cover their bases. So what is it? So when they say must not assault, threaten, that's assault, an idea. That's but why the, is there? Why is it two ideas? That's the us? classic, um, you could say, formula. It's not, not necessarily suggesting that I've threatened, stalked, harassed. I don't think it matters. Assault. I think this is character assassination. I just am a nosy person why are the two avios let on? me tell you over the past four years so Sorry. the police rocked up you know my wife said to them everything's fine they go want to make a statement she goes no don't want to make a statement why'd they rock up well in their evidence of brief or brief of evidence they actually went door knocking apparently a neighbor a neighbor said they heard some arguing so they canvassed door knocked every single apartment in the building this is five levels we're talking about then you turn the page it says just, just to be sure, we went across the road and door knocked the next building across the road. And so they've got all these, you know, your apartment, you know, three, five, six apartment. Da, da, da. They said he was screaming. Well, mate, you know, anyone, especially walks, they talk loudly, they argue and so forth. But, you know, in the brief it uh, also says... It's, it's ringing. Let's get his wife. Come, come, can we ask you? Come, come, come here. Come, are you... Come, stand here, stand here. We come, need to, come next to uh, Wait, we need her to have it. We'll, we'll go with this together. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, they say that there's two AVOs and this um, current affair is really doing a job here for you, to protect you. Did you take out these AVOs? No. No. You've never taken these AVOs? No. So, it's police. So, yeah, they he's, listen, you don't have to worry. If he, if he does anything, I'll get Rukshan to take care of him. You're saying right now that these AVOs that a current affair is using on Putin's propagandist is actually just the police. Yeah, the whole thing. They created the whole thing. I never asked for a VO or we haven't any kind of you... problem to take the VO or anything like that. So they did door knocking. Uh, the entire thing that Simon told about, they did door knocking in our building and the building across the road. And um, they decided to take an AVO on my behalf. Aren't you grateful? I did a statement that I fear the police and I don't want any AVOs or anything like that because it's just... You did a statement, what was it, that you fear the police? Yes. yes. So you're scared after, of the police, not... After the FP order, after the situation when anyone in the world knows where my underwear and my makeup and... Oh, when they search your around. house? Yeah. So you're more worried. That's pretty intense, though. Mm. Do you get what she's saying? Here? Like, yeah. Let me translate because I'm Ukrainian. <laughs> Basically, mm. no, really, though, she's saying that they're um, that these orders are not from her. That mm. she's saying what Simon just told us. 
that the police took it out on their behalf, basically canvassed and found yep. people, which is a bit like the fire, uh, the, the protection order from the, what is it? The, the firearm. The, the, I mean, look, I, I've, I've had PSOs, public safety orders. You're going to stay had, here with us now? Yeah, come in. I've had, no, uh, no, stay. I've had okay. FPS, a uh, firearm. Okay. She's relieved. <laughs> she's, she's scared. No, bring her back, baby. Don't be no, scared of her. Don't tell her what to do. <laughs> We might need her back in a minute when we ask her. It's funny because in this whole story, you see her in the background filming. Yeah, she's, she's there. there. She's there during the thing. He actually even, he says, you're, you're here. Look, watch. Why did, the police, why did the police take out an AVO against you on behalf of your wife? And here you are together. And here you are together. What did that happen? Shouldn't that make you question Yeah, it? he's like, why did Shouldn't that happen? Yeah. Like, he's putting it on to Simeon. Like, that's, that's, that should be a question you go to the police. You're a journalist. Go to the police. Go. Excuse me, officers. They're together. Mm. They're hanging out. They what's look the, what's fine. The, what's She's, the story with this AVO? Why is there an AVO mm. oh, look, that you've taken out? You know, actually, this is this is part of a broader, you know, uh, topic in Australia, and a lot of people watching will agree with this. That the whole system with AVOs and domestic oh, violence and family know. courts it needs to be overhauled. It's, it's so outrageous. There are so many families that get destroyed and people that Absolutely. cost ten, t tens of thousands of dollars. Go to court over nothing, you know. Mate, Hundreds of thousands. Couples let's, argue. let's not get into that now because, uh, uh -huh. the, yeah, let's go here. But now they want to know about my wife. The this AVO. Is a Why have you got an there AVO? Is no AVO you? There's no AVO, mate. My wife never took an AVO. The police have been yes. targeting me for many years now, yeah. targeting for many months, targeting me, trying to get me from a direction because I report the real news, unlike you, current affair. Okay. Boycott is facing that. another four separate charges. Oh, All right. Oh, right. Drive uh, uh, let, me, let, me, let me read them. Yeah. <laughs> let me read this. It's the charges. And it's in red as well. Yeah, yeah. Kind of Put it out. Scary music yeah, in the background. Yeah. Read the them. Driver use mobile phone when not permitted. Oh. I think there's a few That's people who can't be guilty yeah. of that. Yeah, but <laughs> not comply with notice directions. COVID 19. Well, out of my five kilometers. <clears throat> you can read the other two honors. Part of body. Outside window or door job. My elbow resting on the window. What are you doing? I was resting on the window. On the window. window. Considered to be Is that illegal? Offense. It's yeah. an offence. Oh. Use, allow use of horn, similar warning device, unnecessarily. This, this is... This the, is classic the horn. Russian, like... Yeah. This is you can the, see he's Putin. Right it's Putin. even got red and white in the... Oh, if this was Putin doing it, yeah. it's classic. <laughs> but, but, but you see, you see they're taking every single little thing that they can to try to put it together and... Again, character assassinate mm. just say oh if this get you know this might come in for people and yeah. you see you know if we didn't pause this this goes by quite quickly and it's yeah. quite it's quite scary when we first watch this you you don't you don't actually have time to actually read that's right what these charges are they're nothing yeah. they're all summary offenses that are potentially maybe a fine yeah and I well, bet most you of, most well, of them most you're guilty of three I'm, times a day, everyone. Yeah. Especially Rookson, have you seen him drive? It's a nice I guy. always got my arm out, so, okay. you know. Yeah. Actually, but he has, he has this arm's actually person of colour privilege. So if you <laughs> compare my two arms, this one is very dark. Oh, he just found a way to take yeah, off that. I've got to put the light detector back on. Oh, I'm just trying to prove that I'm a serial offender. Yeah. So that one's oh, quite one's dark. Down. That one's quite light. Uh, yeah. So my hand is quite often on the window. So I yeah, wonder yeah, if this will come up in court yeah, yeah. Yeah. as proof of like, aggravated. Uh, they, uh, if, it, if it doesn't work, just go. But I'm a person of colour. Can I come? Can I get off? That's it. It yeah. works, man. It works. Hundred percent. You gotta try to put this back on. Put the light detector back on. Put the light detector. But it's it's mental. It's mental that they're running these. Is like, oh, he's got so much court coming up. Oh, they put the scary music in the background. You don't don't see it. We get it. Mm. You're Russian mafia. The various offences. He's also landed his grandma in court oh. after she guaranteed a four hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan to Simeon. The bank claims he's defaulted on the repayments. I, I, they don't translate what she's saying there. Can you tell me? Because that sounded good. She actually said the media is uh, lying. Don't believe them. Is, is she saying? I'm going to get this fact checked. Literally saying that. I, I, I love it they, because they should have fact checked before they played it. They have his grandmother screaming at them. Yeah. And. They're not, they're not subtitling what yeah. it says. My grandma literally says, don't listen to the media, they're lying. <laughs> I, love, I love your grandma. <laughs> so Russian, Russians like in this, they'll be like, oh yeah, yeah. Well look, yeah. Uh, the, the full video of this is on my YouTube page and we put that up there. We're not here to promote your page, man. Right. <laughs> subscribe and like RVM and rebelnews.com. Rebel yeah. That's right. Yeah. And Rukshan. Yeah. Rukshan. Yeah. Don't subscribe to me because obviously I'm Aussie Russian. Aussie Kozak, it's Russian. We don't wanna, you don't want to support Russians. Yeah. <laughs>
But that's pretty funny. That, that, that is a little bonus we got in Look, this. Look, this is actually not true. What they're saying, right? Yeah. They're not saying... That. I think it's... I, I don't even think you need to fight this. Because, wait a second. Let's see their little um, th attack. Spin. Their spin because it's... It, it, they make it the case. And, and Grandma Sophia Boykov is in danger of losing her house. I, I don't understand. I'm sorry. No speak English. Oh. What about your house? Is, is Simeon paying his bills? Are you happy to see you? How, how, look, that is grotesque. Yeah, when do we start going to like, you know, grandmother's How old is your grandmother? 78. 78. So they've rocked up at a, gra at, at a 78 year old's home. Without calling her, nothing. Without, and no, she doesn't nothing. want to talk to them. Yeah. She's made it clear. In fact, in Russian, she's called them liars. Fine, he doesn't understand that. But it is clear from her body language, she, she doesn't want to talk to them. And they're pretending to be there on, on her behalf to advocate for her. That is vile. Yeah. That is outrageous. That is wrong, yeah. and and that should be condemned by everyone. Look, the the current affair here, scraping the bottom of the barrel. So they've gone for the wife, going for the family. They've searched up and they've found a commercial. Uh, we facility, haven't got there yet. Facility from 2019. Obviously, uh, let's watch it before you answer that. But I yeah. agree with you. They're scraping the bottom of the barrel. In fact, they've gone below it. They're looking under the barrel now. Mate, you know, the thing is, um, you know, with current affair, they showed subtitles when she says. Do you, do you speak Russian? Yeah. But why didn't Current Affairs show the subtitles <laughs> when my lovely grandmother actually said to the camera, she said to them, the news is full of lies. Hey, so they were translated. They, they didn't have, yeah, the they did have a translator. It's interesting. <laughs> so they, they pick what they translate. But they left that part on. Yeah. That is that's, so that's, funny. It's like they're playing. That's us. amazing. So they're basically using the poor old lady to their advantage. When we watched this before he got here, it was clear she wanted no part in their little hit piece. They wanted, she wanted nothing in it, of it. Neither did his wife. Oh, it's just they got harassment. one guy. Well, this is the thing. He, they're saying his grandmother, uh, this is my reading, they're saying his grandmother is some sort of victim of his, right? So they've gone to the victim of the house of the Aussie Cossack, Simeon. They've gone to the house of the victim. They've filmed the victim, not wanting to engage with them. And then they've put the footage of that victim on there to further shame her as well in the public to show her face when she clearly didn't want to have anything to do with them. To make him look bad. Such a good point. So, do you understand what I'm trying to exactly. say here? So it doesn't when doesn't. Do you, make, when can you do that? How when, can you do? How that? can you normally do that? Do you normally put a victim on there exactly. unless you're trying to use that? To unless a victim <laughs> has come to you with a story. Here, they've taken the victim who said she doesn't want to be in it, and she's she's saying she's not a victim. Yeah, and she's, she's not literally me. she's literally a guarantor on a loan. Have you ever taken a loan out, Rukshan? Uh, yes, I have. Have you had to have a guarantor? No. Well, you're rich, different. Us paupers, when we take out a loan. Fair enough, yeah. When we take out a loan, we need to. Oh, it's a normal situation. It's, it's, it's normal. Right. You need to put a guarantor on there. And you put usually a family member. Now, I don't know, even if the, the loan has defaulted, which is none of anyone's business, that's. Do you want to start targeting everyone in Australia in the last two years through COVID that's defaulted on a loan mm, because of be the a, government? It's a big list. That it'll be a big list and everyone that has a grandmother that's a guarantor on this should we go to their house and put their yeah. faces on TV. And see that's it. what these, these, these vile, the lowest of the low yeah. are doing. It's a pretty low ball act. Yeah, there are hundreds of thousands of mortgages all around Australia that were put on hold and so forth. And there was provisions made. This is a commercial facility. In any case, everything's fine. There's no so-called victim. There's no victim. The grandma told him, get lost. You're, you're full of news, fake news. You know, and everyone knows that we have an excellent relationship and all my family fully it's, supports it, 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 it is mind-boggling that they've, they, they're creating a victim from someone who says she's not a victim. As, yeah. well, look, my family fully supports me in all of this and the community fully supports me. And the, the Russian community in Australia knows full well that the reason why I'm on the receiving end of are these personal and dirty bottom of the barrel attacks is because I've dared to put my head up above the water and speak out. Like I mentioned to you earlier, the Russian newspaper that's been going for 60 years in Australia actually removed the Russian flag from the front cover. They're so, they're so afraid. People are scared to admit that they're Russian. Now, is that really what Australia stands for? Is that what multiculturalism is all about? You know, it doesn't matter what nationality you are, there shouldn't be this campaign of political racism. Are you happy to now, see your grandmother out on the street? current affair are to make up a story. Look at this. They come out here, they corner me with my car here, absolutely desperate, fake news, trying to play the Jewish question, 
you know, being racist and now attacking me with personal uh, financial dealings. None, none of your business, mate. We've got to know more about these clowns. Nine's 2GB yes, broadcaster Chris Smith has copped return. his fair share of rants from conspiracy theorists. At least we have they are used. That's the connection. Media. That's how to get him in. Mm. Bad and dangerous messages out to the public. They should be scrutinised. And we should be we should be scrutinising exactly who he's broadcasting to as well. Once they put themselves in the public domain, they are fair game. Uh, what? Oh, what the heck? Oh, what does this guy want Hold to do? Hold on. Yeah, it's crazy talk. This sounds like uh, something they're Communist saying. Communist China. This is this is my problem with Putin. This is my problem with Simeon yeah, Stan. Exactly. Is he saying we should scrutinise? the people he's talking to. That's so if right. you're watching YouTube, you're suddenly in the public space and he says, you're fair game. You're fair game. Yeah, the people who are watching your content, apparently, according to this bloke from Nine, Channel 9, are fair, game. are fair game to be scrutinized as well. How do we know which content to watch without being put on uh, this well, guy's list? Kerry Chant, good. Yeah. But Hazard, good. Dan Andrews, also good. Also government approved content yeah. is Anything good. Anything else? Channel 9. That's disgraceful. If you're watching anyone else but Channel 9, mm. they might give you a pass for oh. Waleed. You've been standing up for freedom. You, you, you haven't. You've been complicit. Oh, you've been complicent, mate. Why is Sophia going? Mate, Why do you call it complicit? <laughs> complicit. <laughs> complicit. <laughs> Speak English. <laughs> Why don't you? Here's a thousand bucks <laughs> for Stephen Martin right there. Was it a thousand? <laughs> I just, I just As a Jew, I find that offensive. Channel Nine buys their people up. Thousand bucks from you as they call it. Well, look at him saying, "Pay your bills." You sound like a debt collector. Here you go. Know, what's he complaining about? People want to know why you had a thousand dollars with you. Just to begin with. What do you? You're a wog. Cash. I was on the way to the mechanic. And he likes cash. He's a wog. He's a wog too. Yeah. Fair enough. How'd you pay him? Oh, that's another debt you owe. No, no, no. I, We're going to see you. I should pay him my card instead. <laughs> needs this money. Maybe, maybe so. Well, I was happy to make that donation to you. Why don't you use this money? Why don't you use this money to pay your You're a clown, I love it. Why does he want you to pay? This, this boycott, do you, this boycott, do you feel safe? You can't even get a word in the pool, though. Do you feel safe with this man? Yeah, well, he, he pointed to my wife and he goes, do you feel safe with this man? <laughs> Baby, <laughs> come into the office. Come here, come here. Miss Boycott, Miss Boycott, come, 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 Miss Boycott. Do you remember this? Do you remember this? Yeah, Miss Boycott, so he says, yeah, I, I want you to watch. I need your reaction. Why don't you use this money? Well, you're very upset that he threw a thousand dollars because I'd be really pissed. It was worth it, eh? It was worth it, do you think? It was worth it. This boy cover you. This boy cover you. This boy cover you. Do you feel safe? Do you feel safe with this man? Do you feel safe with this man? I do. feel safe. But again, that's what he did with the grandmother. He's doing it there. Like, he's the big, great protector mm. that's there for Miss Boyko. Mm. But shaming her, he was filming you. You're on camera there. That's, that's to shame. And he's put them on. This is the victim. Remember, mm. this is the victim. That's right. And he put you on camera as the victim. Did you, are you happy to be the victim on camera? I'm not happy to be on camera. But actually, uh, the Stephen... Martin, how he calls himself, he's actually Stephen Marshall. Uh, I'm not feeling safe about him at all. <laughs> Attacking on the street, yeah, I mean, following this... <laughs> from the house to a, a pub, whatever, mechanic. <laughs> yeah, so Channel 9 people are essentially are kind of stalking you guys, following you, and mm. then uh, confronting you on, in the car in this manner and screaming at you, do you feel safe with this man? No, not with this man, definitely, absolutely not. And with not Steven. With, with, with Steven. Steven. Yeah. With Steven. So with yeah. Simeon, you're fine. <laughs> but it's, it's incredible because that's exactly the point here. Is he's using the victim to create this narrative mm -hmm. when the victim here is saying, the only person that had me worried was him. I think it's... And who's, who's, who, who stalked us. He, in fact, I think if there was an IVR, he may have broken it. Yeah, well, I think it's important at this point to see, did a current affair at all contact you without Simeon around to get your story or get whatever from you? Nothing. Nothing at all. And they know that you're potentially, you know, you have these ADOs or whatever, and they're confronting you in front of, of, this, of, 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 in front of Simeon in this situation. So really, they don't really care about that issue at all. It's mm -hmm. just, uh, you know. If his boss was watching this now, who he thinks he's a hero that deserves a cape for saving you, what would you say to the boss if he was watching this now, his boss? What would you say to him about the conduct that day of what he did. The professionalism and the behaviour of these 
reporter, journalist is lowest. Would you like an apology? I would, yes. There you go, Channel 9. The victim has spoken out. Хорошо. The so-called person in need of protection. Oh yeah, my wife made put a statement to the cops where she said the only protection she needs is from police and media. That's where the harassment it's comes a, from. It's, it's the same thing twice. It's the same thing twice. It's, it, it's mind-boggling that they've even mm. aired this. You know what? When I saw his version put up, his version, which you could see was unedited compared to this, it was just giving you different angles. I'm like, are they actually going to run this one? Because mm. this is the best thing for Simeon on the planet. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm going to, are you telling her in Russian? She's no, like, I'm saying you can stay, you can stay. <laughs> did you say, no. did he say you can stay or you better stay? I want to know because that might be in breach of the AVO. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever is my decision, I feel when we are together and you better stay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Do you? It actually sounds very um, fast in Russian, but that's the meaning. Look, I'll tell you what the thing is. A lot of the cops, when they see me with my beautiful wife, the, the, you know, computer doesn't compute. Like, how the hell does he end up with how, her? How did he? How did he? Do, <laughs> how did he end up with you? Oh, that's a long story. That's love. <laughs> oh, that's love. So beautiful. <laughs> Take that. Uh, Olivia, there we go. All right, let's continue watching. We're not going to get too personal. Um, but uh, yeah, Simeon. Don't forget your money. I'm not taking it. We well, almost got run over. This boy got camera accepting a thousand dollar bribe. Oh, yeah, no, no, you must be the only current affair reporter in the history of the show to have a bribe on camera in your pocket. Lucky you. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not sure it was. <laughs> <the> <laughs> A bribe on camera. What, what about off camera? Yeah. You reckon any of that? Yeah. Off camera? <laughs> 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 think about what they're saying. <laughs> bribe on camera. Yeah. That's what you call an so admission. I reckon they've had a few off. Sounds like it. That's pretty funny, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure it was a thousand bucks. I think I might have been shortchanged. <laughs> that sounds exactly like him. Here is it. He it. <laughs> Put it on. How much cash did you give? It was a thousand dollars. Cash, a thousand dollars Australian, not rubles. Thousand dollars in his pocket. What are you saying? Yeah. Thousand. It's accurate. Pass a thousand. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's the only non-lie. That's, That's the only <laughs> truth he's given us tonight. <laughs> Putin propaganda. <laughs> that sounds exactly like him. That's Here is a, he is a first grade moron. This fella. Yeah, does he know you? Bit, um, no. <laughs> Chris Smith, two GB. Is he two GB? I don't know. But like. How? Yeah. Why? That, that is a personal attack. Yeah. You're a, fair, a grade A moron because he gave you a bribe on camera, not off camera. <laughs> 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 because if you've got a lot of money, you know what, man? Pay your own bills. Ilya has you know, been chasing payment from Boykov through True Blue Labor Hire, a company the Aussie Cossack has shares in. What's the point of having business or dealing business? Because at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people can walk away like this, you know. Hey, why didn't you use this money to pay your bills? So who is that old mate? Mate, uh, his name's Ilya. I'm actually going to give him a call. Uh, I don't know how he became involved in this, but uh, he runs a traffic control company. So sometimes we use different traffic control stuff if we need extra workers and things like that. Um, but from memory, there's one invoice for $80 and there's one for, you know, maximum a few hundred dollars. It's like, it's like literally... Uh, uh, it's a very, pay? very small dispute. Why don't you pay? Mate, I'm not the accounts. You can triple labor hire. There's a director, you know, I'm a shareholder. Do they owe money? I've got 47% of the company, but it's just hilarious how they would even dig this up. And uh, Do you guys owe money? No, no, I don't personally. The company may, but that's normal. In, in the building game, that's normal, mate. Everyone in the building game owes everybody money. So, but why don't they pay him? Uh, as I said, it, there may be a dispute. Oh, you don't know? Look, there may be a dispute. It's a very small amount of money. It's not like a big thing. Like if it was a hundred thousand or sixty thousand, you know, I've had people not pay me. I had a bloke didn't pay me sixty grand, another one a hundred thousand. You know, it happens all the time. You know, especially. So your answer things. to these guy is what, mate? Give me a call. Like, what's your problem? Like, I don't even know. I think he, probably he was set up. I think this poor guy Ilya is actually a nice guy. You know, we 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 do business. I think they might have just uh, dug him up somewhere and uh, cornered him. You know, kind of fear how they do it. And the poor bloke's on camera because he didn't actually say anything nasty or anything like yeah. that. Looking at the footage, it looked like they used a couple of sound bites um, and placed it in specific spots to kind of flow with the story to paint this picture. Character assassination, which so far, what we do know, 
And we don't know, we haven't spoken to them. But what do we know? We know two of the victims. One is standing here in front of us telling us he's the perpetrator, not him. Yep. And the other one, in Russian, the part that they did have was telling us not to believe the guy telling the story. Media, yeah. So I have a feeling that this third victim, I don't think it's too far to stretch of it, you know, yeah. that maybe he didn't know what Fully was aware of what, what the and what we're talking full context about. would be. That's what they call him out, yeah. Accept it from the Aussie Cossack on camera. Why are you, you know what, Gabe, because my subscribers will give me another 100,000. No, I love how you do this, all you're doing. I know what you're doing. You're trying to get subscribers. All my subscribers, join. Sign, hit the subscribe and the bell button. You, sir, are a fake news grub. I'm not sure, but you're one full of You're a fake news grub. I know it. And you're an embarrassment. I'm going to put this video up right now on YouTube. Speaking of fake news. Let the whole world see what kind of grub you are, mate. You're absolute grub. Don't get run over. Don't get run over. Pay your bill, Simeon. <laughs> and a zoom in on the cash. Oh, a bit of what there is. I shoved the thousand dollars into his pocket. It does look like it's. Uh... Well, the Aussie Cossack told his followers he bribed Channel Nine. Hi, who are you? I run the venue. Are oh, you run the venue? Here's what really happened to that cash. Charlie? I don't want to be on hey, Charlie. Well, you are now already. Too late. I don't want to be on You just picked up money off the street, Charlie. Well, the gentleman who dropped it. Yeah, you know Simeon. You know him? Yes, I do. What do you, what do you make of Simeon? I'm not, no comment. Is, is Simeon going to get his money back? This is the look, the, 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 the expression of a man who just ran a bullshit story. Is, is Simeon going to get his money back? Well, we don't know because there's been no online video update from Simeon Boykov on whether he got that cash back. She just made a reference to my channel. Go for the online video update. Thank you very much, Tracy Grinshaw. He's, here just, is the response. She's yeah. just sending him Tracy, to Tracy, I reckon she has permission to air this as one whole piece yeah. tomorrow night. Yeah, the current affair. Otherwise, full, full permission. Otherwise, they can catch it on uh, Ruru Rukshan. You can even put it on your... Uh, put it on yours. Uh, what's your channel? Ozzy Kozak. Ozzy Kozak and Rebel News. And I'll put it on Avi Yamini on Instagram. Mm. Like, comment, subscribe. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I think for you, winner or loser, Simeon or a current affair tonight? Uh, look, I think uh, current affair is, uh, is a loser in all of this. I think so. Um, I think that what we've done with Simeon, just to kind of get his views and stuff, that's the way the media should conduct themselves. Uh, instead of these kind of gotcha things that they're doing. And you're seeing... Uh, I love gotcha things. I love gotcha no, things. But they have to be more honest. Yeah, of course. And that was as dishonest as they come. You cannot... Like, I do gotcha moments. I love them in the street, in, in, in debates and that. I did a couple with Simeon before. I love it. But you can't make up victims. You can't take a victim and then actually victimise them. So uh, someone you claim to be a victim who isn't a victim, but then you victimise them mm. and try to run it and paint it as a certain story to fit your narrative. You cannot do what they did. You can challenge a person on ideas. Of course. And that's what we did here tonight. Yeah. Oh. You see, you, I, Avi, thank you for hitting the nail on the head. Rather than current affair, like you guys have done, challenging me on some of the things that you know I speak out about and report on, and you know, uh, propaganda, you could call it. You know, uh, you can uh, drop uh, that allegedly, right? Rather than challenging on that, like you guys have, and I'm happy to talk about it. We have, we, we can, always talk we about. We can have a nice chat, but they they take the personal, dirty attacks. That's what and they do. crowd That's victims out of nothing. So anyway, so Rukshan says current affair lost. What do you think? I I I, I don't I. I think current affair loses every time they air. I think that's actually, that's actually <laughs> true. I think, Simeon, that... I think you won out of this. I think tomorrow, my prediction is that the comment section of uh, a current affair will be full of support. Yeah, you'll have haters. That's they probably turn the comments off. They yeah, might. Yeah, they, yeah. they tend to do that. Yeah. Um, and I think uh, the viewers at home, how about you guys go over, have a look, and uh, let us know in the comments below what you witnessed the response to be and. If you enjoyed this uh, session, make sure to head over to RebelStore.com. Uh, do you like my t-shirt? Do you like my t-shirt? I couldn't fit in it. No sizes. There's no, no, no. five X's. No, no. You, it's a, it's a, the company structured in a way where you've got to buy three t-shirts to fit. Oh, so I'm... Really? Is that <laughs> you sold me three shirts. <laughs> no, guys, Aussie Kozak in But we don't loan them. We don't know. No, we need cash up front. We've heard about your dodgy dealings. Thousand dollars? We've heard of it. There's no pocket to shove it in. No. We do our bribes off camera. We do our bribes off camera. Miss Simeon. Look like Christmas. Is a good t-shirt? Awesome. Would you get one of these from rebelstore.com.au? With pleasure. With, oh, I don't know. It's the colours. It's because it's uh, the Russian colours, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Is it made in India? That's it. Head over to Rebel Australia, Store. Australia, proud Australian. 
I think. <laughs> Guys, Although this was good. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'm going to read all the comments in the comments section. So we're cutting this bit. We don't want to. Yeah. This is not. Your, we're not fluffing you up here. Yeah. We went hard, but we went fast, and we went good. Yeah. All right. We're yeah. going to do a quick promo. Do you want to do a promo? Let's, do a, let's do a promo. Man. Yeah. We could put right. a promo. Cut tonight. this. Cut. Cut the feeds. Let's do a quick uh, promo. Let's win the promo. Tuesday night, we are doing what Kauri the Fair was too scared to do. We are unmasking the Aussie Cossack once and for all. The lie detector. Lie detector test. We're not taking any of these made up stories. We're getting to the bottom of it. Are you ready to tell the truth? Who is Putin? All right, no, now wait till tomorrow night to find out everything in this story across our channels. Rebel News, the Real Rook Show, Tuesday night. Be there to hear the truth. How much did you pay a current affair to run that propaganda piece on your behalf? Off camera. Don't lie. I, re I reserve the right to refer all questions to the embassy. 